The PSAT is known as a primer for the SAT and the ACT. More than 3.4 million high school students take the PSAT every year, mostly juniors and seniors. The PSAT happens once a year and takes about 2 hours and 45 minutes. It is divided into three different components. Two critical reading sections taking 25 minutes each. Two math sections also both taking 25 minutes each. And a writing skills section taking 30 minutes. This is one of the very few standardized tests that does not have an essay portion. The maximum score you can get is a 1520. The PSAT is a multiple choice test and in the math sections there are some student produced responses. The best part of the PSAT is that it's completely free because schools pay for it. In New Jersey, it is required that you pass a standardized test like the PSAT, SAT, ACT, PARC, or the military test called the ASVAB to graduate. I think they all carry equal weight, especially now since the state of New Jersey acknowledges the SAT or the PSAT or the ASVAB as a graduation requirement. It's just a matter of which test is going to speak to you as a student to help you perform for different sections. The PSATs are very important for high school students. Now they have become one of the tests that can allow you to graduate. Yes, I do, because right now they're a graduation indicator for people in the state of New Jersey. So if you do well on the PSATs, if you achieve a certain score in the math portion or the English portion, it can count towards your test of requirement to help you graduate. Overall, the PSAT has become an important standardized test in New Jersey because now you can use it as your graduation requirement. The PSAT may help you do better on the SAT or the ACT. This is Victoria Bowser reporting for Monthly Rewind Season 21.